Team of the season is here. And if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins over Team of the season, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a massive 10% discount. And you can also get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and another tactics video here on the channel. Yes, they are coming thick and fast as promised. So... Today, we're having a look at the 541, which isn't a video that I imagined that I would be making this year, um, but it seems to have become quite popular. So, I thought that we would chuck our two pennies worth in and have a look at the tactics for this. So, for me, there's no doubting that it's meta and it's effective. I just don't like these type of formations. And what I mean by that is, so last year, just due to mechanics, the 3-5-2 became really popular. The year before that was the 5-3-2, you know, whereas your traditional ones always stay popular all the time. So um, let's have a look at it and you can decide for yourself if you want to um, get involved and use it. So the actual tactics are fairly bland, but it's when you get to the player instructions and knowing how it plays out in game is where... Um, is where its strengths come into play, basically. So I'm going to quickly whip through this because it's the instructions that are more important. So defensive style balance, I say this all the time, we don't want people being dragged out of position. Um, if we want to pressurise people, we'll do it ourselves. Defensive width, uh, 40, particularly where you've got five at the back. We don't need to stretch them out too much because the left wing back and the right wing back end up with chalk on their boots if this is too high. And we don't want that. We want them well and truly involved in the defence. Uh, defensive depth, 50, uh, you could up this if you wanted to. Depends on how comfortable you are defensively or how quick your defense is. Build up play balance and chart cr chance creation direct passing. Very, very similar to um, most of the other tactics that we look at. Um, offensive width, 50. There's no need to touch that. Players in the box, six. Like I said, fairly traditional. Calls and free kicks, I always say, just do whatever you want there, but be conscious that the higher that you put it up, the more that you're going to get counted attack. Right, instructions time. This is where it is at. And before we get into that, guys, I did want to remind you that I do offer online coaching. So if you're really looking to improve your foot champ scores, which is what a lot of people have been contacting me about over team of the season, get in touch with me. We can arrange some coaching or I can have a look at a plan for you. The email address is martainfever88 at gmail.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed have turned quite a few people ready in team of the season just up a level for PBs in terms of foot champs and they're gassed about it. So get in touch. Right, back three, stay back while attacking, okay? So I, I have used this, by the way. I have used it. In fact, I tried it a few weeks ago. Um, it's not for me personally, but I can see why people like to use it, okay? So back three, stay back while attacking. I say this all the time with a five back though. If you can um, have a left centre back and a right centre back who can actually play with the ball as well, then that is a massive plus. Okay, mine can't really, but if you can imagine having like where where I've got Declan Rice here, having like a team of the year Kimi, or on the left here where I've got Godfrey having like a team of the year Hernandez, that's perfect because they can start the attack and push those wing backs forward once you've got the ball. But we will always still have them on stay back while attacking because you can't have the right centre back on um, join the attack or anything like that because they'll just leave holes, plain and simple. Right, over to the wing backs. So if you leave these on stay back while attacking, you'll end up being sitting ducks, which is always the fear of a five back. So we can't do that. So it's balanced attack in terms of the attacking runs, but also overlap is what we want to do. And there's a huge reason for this because the positions of the two wingers who are in front of them is going to change, okay? They are actually going to play a lot more further inside, which allows space for the two wing backs to go further up, okay? So it's important that you leave that on overlap. Into the two centre mids. So the, bearing in mind that we've got a lone striker, the two centre mids need to get involved in the attack, okay? And you can be a little bit more gun ho with them because you do have 
the three centre backs. Okay, so for me, would balanced attack is the way to go because, of course, we want them to attack and we want them to defend. Um, also, cover centre. Okay, stay in that middle part of the pitch. We've got wingers and we've got um, wing backs. There's enough people covering the width. Okay, so stay cover centre is definitely the way to go for me. Okay, so this is the bit where it gets a little bit more interesting. So the two wingers, and for me, you want proper attacking wingers here. So this is where you'd want your Alawarans. You could even play like an Mbappe out there as an example. So their defensive support is come back on defense. So when we are defending, it's extremely solid. Um, and it's a defense like a traditional 5-4-1. But then when attacking, we've got support runs getting behind, but the chance creation is cut inside. So they're not going to stay wide. They're going to drift further in field. Um, so imagine, imagine how like a 4-3-2-1 uh, a performs those front three. That's more like how it will go. And that's why the two wing backs are on overlap, because that will leave space for them to go into. So... It, it changes massively from attack and defence to shape. Whereas a lot of other formations, they just stay the same. That's the, the attraction. It probably just catches people more off guard than anything. Um, I think that people will slowly but surely find ways around um, beating it. Or quite simply, there'll be a patch and there'll be stuff that people can do to, to get around it. That's normally what happens with formations like this. And then... For your striker, stay central, and you can either go for getting behind, or to be honest, I would leave them on default, depending on who your striker is. I don't know why that was on getting behind, but for Harry Kane, I'm going to leave it as default. I just want my central striker in the middle of the pitch, someone to play off for the two centre mids, for the two wider guys, for the um, for the wing backs. I just want him in the middle of the pitch. I don't want to. I don't want to void in the middle. I don't want Harry Kane drifting out wide. So, guys, there we go. There's the 541 uh, custom tactics. If that helps you, terrific. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye bye.